We see the morning come as Azula wakes up and feels her mother's hands on her face, freaking out since obviously she hasn't seen her mother in years. As Ursa tells Azula to give up this quest and go home, however, that doesn't mean that Azula doesn't have her own purpose. Azula gets furious at her mother preparing a bolt of lightning for her, while Ursa tells the lightning bender that she needs to take off her mask of fear to finally be able to see the beauty of her own destiny. And for a second, we see Azula powering down, starting to question if she really does want the throne. Suddenly, we snap back to reality and realize that this was all just a hallucination, as she grabs Katara by the arm by accident, but in that moment, Azula stands there realizing that the letter she was holding is gone, as she stares down the two Water Tribe members and her blue flames start to come out, asking where is Zuko? Off on the edge of a cliff, we see as Zuko shows Aang the letter revealing his true lineage, explaining how so much of his life makes sense now. But Aang still doesn't believe this 100%, because he says there's some things that don't add up, and even if it was true, what does that mean about Zuko's reign as Fire Lord, because this would make Azula the rightful ruler of the Fire Nation.